When you log into the app for Evidence Me, you'll land on the Create screen, and you'll notice four buttons down the right-hand side. When parents log in, the view is the same. They land on the Create screen and can also create observations. The top button will allow you to create an observation without any media. The second one will allow you to access the camera roll to select a photograph or video. The third one will start recording video. And the fourth will take a photograph. When you record video or take a photograph, the media will go into the media tray along the bottom. You can immediately tap on it to edit. You can tap on the buttons below the media preview to add another photograph, video or photograph or video from your library. I'll see I can scroll through the media along the top here. If I wanted to blur any faces or add markup, I simply tap on the media and that will load it up with these three buttons to the bottom right hand side. The first one of these with the pencil is markup. I can use this to select things I think are brilliant or point particular bits out. I've got arrows and various shapes I could use and I've also got highlighter tools and a text tool. Once I'm done, I tap on done in the bottom right hand corner and that will save my markup. Once I've applied the markup, I'll have an orange icon to the top right of the image. If I scroll through, this one I'm going to blur the face on. So if I tap on it, this will load the image and I can use the second option down on the bottom right hand side to blur the face. I simply tap it, hold down on the face and let go when I'm ready to blur. This will permanently modify the image. If I'd wanted to save the image before I blurred it, I could have tapped on the export button to the top right and saved a copy of the original image to my camera roll. To the right of the media, I can change the date and the time. I can also add any tags I wish to search for the observation under and tag it for parent share if I like. If I tag an observation for parent share, it'll be immediately available to that parent when they log in on their device. Beneath this area here, we have several fields. Parents see slightly fewer options. They won't see the objectives fields. They'll just see the fields tag learners and the parents notes area. The first of the ones you can see is notes. I'm simply going to tap Add Notes to add my notes in. If you're the administrator, you can choose which notes fields appear for different users. You can have different notes fields for staff and different notes fields for parents, for example. You simply tap in a notes field to add the text. The text can be typed using the keyboard, or you could use the microphone button on the keyboard to record the text. In this case, I've added in a note and a next step comment. I'm going to tap on Observation Details to return to the observation. Beneath the notes field, you'll see a learners field. Because I've used Jacob's name in the notes, it's suggested that Jacob is the learner in the observation. I can tap edit to adjust who's tagged in the observation, tagging multiple children if I'd like to. Beneath learners, we'll see objectives. When I tap on add objectives, I'm taken to the objectives area. At the top, I can filter the objectives by framework, category, and by age level. I can also use the search bar to search by keyword if I want to. Beneath this area, I'll see all the objectives I've filtered on the left-hand tab and I'll also see a suggestion in the right-hand tab. The suggestions use your notes to suggest objectives that might fit with this observation. If you're happy with the suggestion, simply tap it to add it to the observation and return to observation details. Beneath objectives, you've got next steps objectives. You'll see shaded which objective you tagged for this observation and can look through the objectives and suggestions to tag the next steps. At the bottom here, you can tag the observation as a draft so you know to come back and check it later. In the menu along the bottom, you can tap Observations to look through all your previous observations. To the top right, you can tap Filter to filter within a date range, or by learner or class. Some observations will have an orange arrow, such as this one, and some a green dot. The green dot means the observation is successfully uploaded to the web suite. To the top left, you can tap Large View to view all the observations in a larger view. When you log into the Evidence Me web suite, your recent observations will appear on the home page. You can click on the plus at the top of the box to add an observation directly into the web suite. You simply click on Upload to upload your relevant media and fill in the options in the boxes around it. You'll notice an extra box here, Documents and Links. You can use Evidence Me observations to send home links and documents. You simply attach a link or upload a file using these buttons. When you attach a link, you type or paste in the URL and pop in the display name. When you upload a file, which could be an image, it could be a Word document, a PDF or a JPEG, you browse your computer for it. Once you've clicked on Upload, it will upload into the Documents and Links area. If you then tag this observation for parent share and tag pupils, those documents and links will be sent to those pupils via the observation. Observations can be duplicated or deleted in the web suite or in the app. All observations will sync, so observations you take in the app will appear in the web suite. 
and observations you add into the web suite will appear when you log into the app. All adults, staff and parents associated with a particular learner will be able to see observations tagged with that learner. Any observations parents have sent in will be visible in the web suite under Parent Postcards. They are clearly labelled Parent Submissions and when you click on them, you can choose to approve or reject them. Parents can only add notes. If you like to, you could add objectives and next steps objectives before you approved. Parent observations you approve will be added to that learner's profile.